Broadening your English, grasp the gradable antonyms. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our advanced vocabulary series. Today, we're delving into the exciting world of synonyms and antonyms. Specifically, we're focusing on a special type of antonyms, gradable antonyms. So buckle up and let's improve your English vocabulary together. Before we dive into gradable antonyms, let's take a quick look at what antonyms are. Antonyms are words that have opposite or nearly opposite meanings. For example, the antonym of hot is cold, and the antonym of happy is sad. Now, let's introduce the main topic of today, gradable antonyms. Unlike absolute antonyms that provide completely opposite meanings, gradable antonyms exist on a continuum or a scale. This means that the two words are opposites, but there are also intermediate states between them. For example, consider hot and cold. These are gradable antonyms because between hot and cold, there are many different degrees of temperature like warm, cool, or lukewarm. Let's go through some more examples to understand this better. 1. Big and small. These are gradable antonyms because there can be various sizes in between, like medium, large, tiny, and so on. 2. Happy and sad. These are gradable antonyms because there are many emotional states between being completely happy and completely sad, such as content, melancholic, or indifferent. 3. Old and young. These are gradable antonyms because there are many ages in between old and young, like middle-aged, teenager, or toddler. Why do we need to know about gradable antonyms? Well, they are very useful in descriptive language. Using gradable antonyms can help you describe a range of conditions or states, and not just absolutes. This is especially helpful in English examinations or in your daily English conversations where a rich vocabulary can make a difference. And that's it for today's lesson on gradable antonyms. By understanding and using them, you'll be able to express a whole range of conditions or states, making your English more versatile and dynamic. So remember, don't just think in black and white explore the whole spectrum. Thank you for joining us in this lesson, and remember, keep practicing and expanding your vocabulary. Happy learning, and we'll see you in our next lesson.